What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Angel, and welcome back to Angel's Life. Talk about a long time coming. I have been saying to myself, I was going to do this on my channel. I was going to do this in my life. I kept saying it, kept saying it, kept saying it. Never did it. Well, today is the day. We are here. We are here. What are we here doing? Read the title. Just kidding. <laughs> we are here building a capsule wardrobe okay um and like i i feel like the capsule wardrobe phase has kind of passed so the people who are building capsule wardrobes right now they're doing it because that's really what they want to do that's really how they want to live their life um i decided personally to build a capsule wardrobe and mind you it would be more of a like a a, a high low capsule wardrobe um, the four reasons that I decided to build a capsule wardrobe was, one, um, I get overwhelmed, like, I have, like, I have already been decluttering, but you, the closet closed from here to here, okay, so tight that you gotta, like, you know, you gotta push your whole goddamn body on the clothes just to get in there, and that's always how it's been, shoes from here to kingdom come, I only got two feet, <laughs> you know, um, just always had a whole bunch of stuff and only about 10 to 20 percent of it i actually wore okay and don't even get me started on laundry day now i have a child it's even worse okay because all of his stuff all of my stuff it's just it's a mess and i hate that feeling of being overwhelmed or i hate the feeling of walking into my closet and never have nothing to wear so that's the first reason that i wanted to build a capsule wardrobe my second reason is it's good for the planet i've done a lot of research of the if you want to look that up, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's good. It's better for the planet. It's better for the people. Okay? Is what it is. Uh, number three, quality over quantity. Okay? Long story short, right? I would rather have five very, very high quality items that I will have from now until kingdom come versus 20 items that I spent $20 on that's only going to last me about 20 days, okay? <laughs> that's just me, though. Um, And last but not least, I want to buy black more. And that's no excuse. I don't need a capsule wardrobe to buy black, IV. But a lot of the, the black brands that I'm into, Finoel, Hanifa, The Chemist, they ain't cheap, okay? <laughs> They're not cheap. And they shouldn't be. You should not charge Hanifa, Fino, well, these, these brands should not charge H&M prices when they're giving out grade A quality, right? But in my smaller, more minimalist capsule style wardrobe, I am going to have more expensive pieces that are made of higher quality that I plan on keeping for a very long time. And that's just me. That's what I would like. That's what I want to do. If I only have 20 pieces of clothing in my closet, but every single one of those pieces I am in love with, I want to wear them every day. I am grabbing for them every day. I can mix and match them with everything. That is really what I'm looking for. That is, I feel like that aligns more with my values and beliefs going forward. So that's out the way. Let's talk about, so we're committed to this. We are committed to this. Y'all see the closet looking real bare. It's because we've, we've committed. Okay? We are here. It took me so long because getting past that thought of like, well, I don't have anything to wear. Uh, bitch, you just said you walk into your closet all the time and you say you ain't got nothing to wear anyway. Okay? So now you just have less. <laughs> you know? Now you, you, I guess you literally have nothing to wear versus figurative, figuratively not having anything to wear. But... We shall rise. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have committed. We are here. I have started selling already, okay? I am selling about 92% of my entire closet, okay? I am selling them on... I'll tell y'all that later. <laughs> but I have been decluttering. And I'm just going to kind of give y'all a rundown of how I have decided to declutter my things. So, 
obviously i like i said i have been selling a lot of stuff already but i'm just gonna kind of show y'all really quick like how i decide what i'm gonna keep versus what i'm gonna get rid of versus what i'm just too not sure about right um so first things first i will grab something that i planned on getting rid of and that is this h m suit right so I'll insert a picture of me in the suit. Y'all, I absolutely love this suit, right? I do. I really like the suit. However, I've been having this suit for two years and I've worn it three times. And something about that just does not sit right with me, okay? Um, <laughs> it's like the suit is nice. But I do, like, I don't grab for the blazer independently. I don't grab for the pants independently. I have worn this turtleneck independently. The turtleneck is newer, though. And although I am personally not going with a color palette for my capsule wardrobe, I'm going more with a color story, and I'll get into that in a later video. The suit just does not, you know, it just does not suit how I want to look going forward, how I want my capsule wardrobe to be represented. And I have not said how I want it to be represented, but the key words are elevated, casual chic, mixed with a little bit of grandiosa. Okay? Now, I know that sounds like a complete contradiction, but moving forward along in this series, y'all are going to understand what I mean. Because I am very, I my everyday pieces may not be everybody else's everyday pieces, you know? Like an everyday piece for somebody may just be like, oh, they're sweatpants and they're just like a hoodie. That's not really everyday to me. Everyday to me is like sequins pants and like sneakers with like a suit. Like that's my, <laughs> that's my everyday and that's me. That's me and that's fine. But if y'all, you know, if y'all are picking up what I'm putting down, then you understand what I mean. <laughs> so yeah the suit is just it just it doesn't fit however i'll grab something that does fit and that is this uh wool sweater so one one of the reasons i'm keeping this sweater is one it's 100 percent wool it feels great two i love the color it is bit i mean it is bright it is bold, and I absolutely love that. I love it with jeans. I love it with pants. Like, I just love how bold it is. Um, Y'all saw this sweater in my, uh, what I bought in January. Like, I love this sweater. Like, I'm not even lying to y'all. I love this sweater. Um, It's oversized, and it's very, very comfortable. It's not itchy or anything like that. Love the sweater. So, this is something that stays because I can see so many looks with it. You know what I mean? So, I'm keeping these black pants, too. I was going to talk about that, but, you know, this is a look. This blue jeans is a look. These uh, lighter jeans, like, it's a look. Like, it goes, like, it literally goes to, like, every bottom that I have <laughs> that I plan on keeping. So, why wouldn't I keep this sweater? You know what I mean? And then, moving on to this section, right? And this is my, I'm just not sure about it yet. I plan, the... The I'm not sure about it section, I plan on keeping it for a week to a month. It just kind of depends. If I never grab for any of these items within that week or that month time frame, you know, that means that they need to go because they're just not being utilized, if you understand what I'm saying. So, this leather jacket, right, and it's 100% calfskin leather. It's by Diesel. I got it on sale for £99 at TK Maxx when it originally was £500. It is a really, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a leather jacket. It's a leather jacket. However, I swear there's an All Saints leather jacket that I think I really want instead. So it's like, do I hold on to this just because I got a good deal for it? And, and not just that, I'm not a huge moto jacket fan, right? If I am going to have a moto jacket, I kind of feel like it shouldn't be black. I feel like it should be another color. Don't ask me why I just do so. But at the same time, there is a lot of value in having a black biker or moto jacket. So I'm just kind of confused. So I'm not sure. Um, Another item that I plan on selling. I'll just grab these at the same time. They have similar things. So this dress. 
really really love this dress pop up a picture of me wearing it she's sexy she's cute she's fun however and i've worn her a couple times however in my opinion it's just not great material and furthermore going forward i just it just doesn't fit like I'm, I'm not wearing this with sneakers right and i need majority of my dresses to be able to be thrown on with sneakers too like i need my i need my dresses my pants everything i need them to be able to when you're downsizing i think it's important to have items that can transition from night to day that give you a different look when you're throwing them on with sneakers give you a different look when you're throwing them on with sneakers versus throwing them on with heels and this dress just doesn't fit like it doesn't make the cut same thing with this outfit the this cardigan um the material isn't great i feel i would rather save and maybe purchase a nice cashmere cardigan at some point because i i literally i think I've, i have reached for this cardigan a couple times i've only reached for the skirt once or twice and i was wearing it with this the cardigan definitely had more value in my closet but I don't think it's already kind of like, you know, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Like, don't get me wrong. It doesn't look bad. It's holding up very, very well. But I think it it, it, it it hasn't held enough value in my closet to the point where I should save it. So somewhere down the line, maybe this winter or next winter or whatever, I'll get a, a nice cashmere one that I know will last me a lot longer. Um... I will grab this skirt right and I'll use this as an example so this is something that is going and this is something that is staying now y'all <laughs> I stand like elevated everyday chic and at the same time grandiose so this is the perfect example of what I mean right so sequin is everyday to me these are everyday pieces right but why am I keeping this one over this one one because I love this color Y'all, this color is stunning. It is gorgeous. And I absolutely love it. Um, This sequin skirt is gorgeous as well. Don't get it twisted. But I, I feel like there's so much more wear in these pants, in these like sequin pants, over the skirt. One, the skirt is tight. So when you're walking, you have like that, that thing going on, like your Elvis. <laughs> um... And then two, it's a skirt. And I just, I personally, for my, like, everyday life, or even, like, if I'm going out, I feel like pants are just, it's just something about, like, sequence pants that just give you that, mm, and they're purple. They are this beautiful, beautiful purple that I just cannot get over. I cannot get past. I am in love with these pants, y'all. I'm in love. <laughs> um, but, so an outfit, right? I could wear this with a silk shirt. And some heels and and be gone okay or I could wear this with a t-shirt and some platform form converse and be at the park you know what I'm saying probably not the park like let's not let like let's not over exaggerate here probably not the park but tea you know a nice brunch with the tea or a teacher conference meet and what's up I'm here to sparkle what'd you say about my son you know that's me <laughs> um so yeah, like I just absolutely love these. Furthermore, these are these sequence pants are by Paco Rabone. These pants sell on the used market. They are in bestiaire right now for fifteen hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Th these exact pants are are on bestiaire collection right now for fifteen hundred pounds. Y'all pay eighty seven pounds for these pants. 87 pounds for the pants and then I paid 15 pounds for alterations girl we could not we would never we would never get rid of these <laughs> there is too much value in them and if I do want to get rid of them down the line she may get her little coin for them okay so that is why um and not just that literally if you feel these pants versus this skirt the quality is so different, which is crazy because this is polyester. So I don't know why the quality feels so different. I don't know why it feels so different, but it does. It feels so different. So that is just a rundown of a few.
few reasons why they, and mind you as of right now these are the only pieces of clothing that i'm keeping that's one two three four five six pieces of actual clothing that i'm keeping i know y'all that sounds so crazy but we are committed we are committed we only want things that we love in 2020 and everything else must go i do want to say this i got these pants from house of cb and they are really nice but i'm just so up and down about them comment this will be the comment of the day comment down below and let me think let me know if y'all think i should keep these pants i do really like them but i just don't know i i don't know how every day they can be for me you know what i mean i I just don't know. So comment down below. Let me know if y'all think I should keep these nice, like, wide leg pants from uh, House of CB. Um, so I'm going to move on to just a few accessories. I have these. And again, I am selling all of my stuff. Check my Poshmark if you're interested in buying anything. These Michael Kors glasses are another thing that I'm selling versus my time for glasses and i'll just go ahead and take them out really quick the reason that i am i don't feel like i don't feel like i need multiple pair of black sunglasses honestly um my time for ones are my newest ones and i am honestly more in love and more in tune with my time for glasses i really like the shape so that's the reason that i'm keeping the time for glasses and uh not the michael kors ones i mean that's just kind of simple there isn't a lot of sunshine in london or in the uk but even if there was or if there wasn't i personally like as far as having a minimalist or minimal wardrobe i do not feel like it is necessary to have more than one pair of black glasses that's just you know me being honest like maybe as far as sunglasses which i do feel like can, can make a look one black one tortoise and maybe one like like one colored pair thrown in there besides that i don't personally feel like i need more than three pair of glasses uh sunglasses um next i will talk about just a couple pair of shoes that i plan on keeping so for starters, I'm going to keep both pair of my Kurt Geiger pumps, my black ones and my new ones, just because I have reached for them more often than not. They are very, very comfortable. And when it comes to, I mean, they're, they're clutch shoes. They're clutch heels. I feel like they add value, right? But um, I pro although I probably won't reach for them like I will some of my other shoes, I mean... Y'all know I love them Kirk Geiger heels, man. I don't know what to tell y'all. Um, now, a pair of shoes that I do not plan on keeping, right? So, these are one pair. These are my Gianni Benny heels, the slingback heels. First of all, I absolutely love these shoes. And I want y'all to not get it twisted right now. These are dupes of the Amina Moati Bagoom heels. And, like, let's talk about it. We're talking about luxury, girl. We're talking about investing. We're talking about quality over quantity. I don't, this PU, like, is the quality going to change in the PU? Y'all let me know. Maybe I don't know. I'm new to this. Not true to this. But, um, I feel like these are a great dupe. I feel like these get the job done. The only reason I am getting rid of these is because this, they're too small. They're too small. I have worn them, so I cannot return them. They're too small. The likeliness of me getting the right size in a different color, I would get clear versus purple because I feel like clear would go a lot better with what I'm going with with my color story. The likeliness of me getting clear in, um, in these shoes, 100% as long as they have my size. 100%. So if we have an unboxing of some Gianni Benny heels coming up, don't be surprised, okay? Do not be surprised because they're on the list. Um, but I, that is the reason that I'm getting rid of these. I'm getting rid of these like Kurt Geiger heels because I've never worn them. I bought them. They were on sale. I thought they were absolutely adorable. I've been having them for about seven months. Have not worn them at all. As you can see, the tags are still on them. And then we have shoes like this. The reason that I'm keeping these platform Michael Kors heels is because I love them. 
I love them. I reach for them every chance I get. Okay? <laughs> That's just a fact. That's just a fact. Any more questions? <laughs> we love these, okay? They add so much value. I, like, I just love them. Grandiose. They fit. Um, Compared to, like, these loafers, which will go... I don't wear a lot of flats. I do not wear a lot of flats. In building this capsule wardrobe, you really do learn or hone in on your style. And I am not a flats girl. I'm really, really not. Uh, I like heels. I like sneakers. I don't even really care for boots like that. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. One or two pair of boots work fine for me, but that's all I need. I like heels and I like flats. I mean, flats. I like heels and I like sneakers. That's it. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to go out and buy a whole pair of heels. I mean, a whole bunch of heels and a whole bunch of sneakers. No. But I do want to make sure when I am buying them, I am buying them because they will add value to my wardrobe. They will add value to the things that I have. Those Gianni Benny shoes in the clear will add value. They will literally go with everything that I already have sitting right here and then more. You know what I mean? So... That's just that. And two pair of heels, I mean two pair of heels, two pair of shoes that I'm on the fence about. One are these white Sam Edelman mules. One, um, because I hate the flopping around that happens in mules. It's like you're walking around in slippers that I thought it wouldn't be an annoyance, but it kind of is an annoyance. And then two, like I said, I'm not really a flats girl. And, um, two, these white cowboy boots so i have worn these boots several times and i have reached for them more often than i thought but going forward i just don't know if they will really add any value like i've worn them because they were there but i cannot truly say that these are like my style like i can pull them off you know but they're not my style so and i bought them at a time where again i was just trying to figure out like my style what my style looked like what it felt like what it smelled like what you know all these different things and now that i'm getting a much better and clearer understanding of what all all that is these just really don't they don't fit the bill for what my style looks like or feels like so that is just obviously i'm selling a lot more than just the couple items that i've showed you but i just kind of explained to y'all like what like how i determine what stays what goes etc so i hope y'all really enjoyed this video moving forward a lot of my videos will be built around me building my capsule wardrobe and if you are ready to take this journey with me please do not get forget to subscribe to the channel click the notification bell to be notified when i upload if you like this video please like this video don't forget to comment down below and let me know if i should keep these pants or not but y'all i am super excited to go on this journey with y'all i'm super excited to share this journey with y'all i've been wanting to do this for a very very long time and i cannot wait to see what the future holds but i love y'all so much thank you for watching and i will see y'all in the next video peace